So I have now made several videos regarding the next Witcher game, which I call The Witcher 4. And I already talked about how my perfect open world in such a game would look like, and who I want to see as the main protagonist in such a game, and which are the best options in my opinion. But in today's video I'm going to talk about probably one of the most important aspects in such a game, and it will be when The Witcher 4 should actually take place because that will also determine the main protagonist and will also determine how the open world is going to look like. Obviously the lore of the Witcher is ginormous due to the books and due to different stories and that's why we know a lot about certain things that happened before the actual games. So in today's video I'm going to talk about my perfect time in which the Witcher 4 should take place. So firstly, obviously there are again a lot of different options when it should take place. Obviously a lot of people talked about that Witcher 4 game or the next Witcher game would be great with Siri, and in that aspect obviously it would be clear that the game would take place after the events of The Witcher 3. But as I talked about in my video about the main protagonists, actually playing Siri would not make a lot of sense and there are certainly better options, one of which being playing as Vesemir. And if we play as Vesemir, the opportunities would be way bigger. Obviously we could play shortly before the books, let's say, or we could play, let's say, 150 years before the books. And the opportunities here are quite endless. However, if you remember, in my last video where I talked about the main protagonists, I told you my favorite option, and the option in my opinion would make the most sense, which was playing as a new Witcher that we don't even know, shortly after the creation of the Witchers, in the Golden Era of the Witchers. And now we don't really know a lot about that time period, how the things looked back then. We know, we know some things from stories in the books and some stories in the video games, but if you think about it, in the Witcher games and even in the Witcher books, the Witchers are actually at the brink of extinction, you know, there are not a lot of people left. And if you look at Camorant, Camorant is made for five witchers, like it was in The Witcher 1, for example. I mean, this castle could literally take 50 witchers in it. There's so many rooms and it's so ginormous that it's pretty much clear that it's not made for five witchers. And obviously there are a lot of different other schools, you know, the school of the cat, the school of the bear, of the wolf. And I would absolutely love a witcher game where we play shortly after the creation of the witchers, when it was not such a rarity to actually see one. And if we would play in an era like that, it will obviously be a big possibility to also explore the other schools of the witchers. So let's say that we play as a witcher from the school of the cat and we're actually able to visit the other schools which also hold place for a lot of witchers in the witcher games and the witcher books. The different schools actually don't really like each other, you know, there's a big, big competition and the witchers from those schools don't really like each other. But what we heard from some stories, it wasn't like that back then, you know, it was just like different families that trained and then were still competing against one another, but in a friendly manner. So let's say that we play as a witcher in one school and we have friends in other schools that we could also visit. And I think the possibilities for such a game where we play in the era shortly after the creation of the witchers, a couple of decades after, let's say, probably holds the most opportunities and probably in my opinion would be the most interesting one lore wise and as i said in the beginning we don't really know a lot about that time period we've heard some stories from the books and from the games but most of it is still quite unknown so playing in that era as i said would definitely be the most interesting option out of the ones that i mentioned and now that we have talked about the open world about the main protagonists and about the time when The Witcher 4 should take place. In one of my next videos, I will put all of those things together and create my perfect Witcher 4 game as a hardcore fan. Also implement some of the things that I would love to see in the story, in the main story and also in maybe some side quests. So feel free to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss that. And now I'm interested in your opinions. What would be your favorite time period in which the next Witcher game should take place? Do you also agree with me that we play in kind of unknown era that we don't really know much about? Or would it be a better option to play in the future, let's say, as Siri or as a different Witcher? Or maybe just a prequel to the books so that the next Witcher 4 game plays directly before the events from the Witcher books? Obviously there are a lot of opportunities, 
but in my opinion, playing in the golden era of the Witchers, which was shortly after the creation of them, would be the best option. Alright guys, that was it for me in today's video. I wish you all an amazing day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.